Yo! You think this a game? What? Yo! This ain't no game, man! We ain't playing here! This is Anarchy X! We the future, son! I told you! We ain't playing! Yo, this right here! This right here will melt faces! This is Anarchy X! We the future! Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to part two of our uh, of our Battle Wave twenty three twenty three features and strategy sessions. Um, so if you missed part one, what we did in part one was we went through staking LPs on your dashboard to get everything rolling and getting you guys playing. We went through a bit of the bridge and we also went through the home screen, the view team activity and how that's going to enhance your strategy and, and hold, held your team accountable while also viewing all the other teams and seeing where they're at and seeing exactly the actions they're carrying out. We also went through the Discord chat. So if you missed that, go back and watch part one and then roll back on this one and part two. So this one is very focused in today, guys. What we're going to focus in on is staking in-game NFTs. That's buying and staking in-game NFTs, the APY they're going to give you, Rolling through the functions of, uh, of confirming the transactions and everything like that. We'll get to some questions and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, so in-game NFTs, massive part of the game is going to be buying sacred relics, buying arms boosts and implementing them into your strategy. So ANRX is required for all of these actions. It's our in-game arcade coin. So all in-game actions, including buying these NFTs, you're going to need ANRX for, right? So what we'll do is We'll start a little bit of an intro onto, onto staking NFTs and what they are and what they do. So, I mean, this is key to amplifying your APY earnings in Battle Wave 2323. Um, the winning team will have coordinated these actions most effectively at staking the in-game and collectible NFTs. We also mentioned, obviously, last uh, on, geez, I can't even think, on Tuesday, uh, staking the artillery, combining it and getting the super weapon as well, which we'll actually go through uh, on to, uh next tuesday session stage three so um there's a few types of nfts as we've I've just explained um which you can learn about in the wiki in detail um and have the best chance of winning so let's stake an arms boost let's start with an arms boost so we've got our arms boost here what's important is that we're fully on matic polygon for all of our in-game nft staking right so if you're not already on Polygon, when you go to stake your NFTs, our dashboard here is going to ask you to do that. It'll pop up MetaMask automatically. And it'll ask you to switch your network. All you have to do is click switch network and it'll bring you onto Matic Polygon, our L2 solution, right? So we can see our APY boost right here. 20% team APY boost. 25 bucks for this one at the current price of ANRX 742 ANRX, right? So we're going to go ahead and confirm this. So just like yesterday, our proving bar is going to come up. MetaMask is going to come up automatically. We're going to confirm this transaction. We're going to be brought back to the home screen, the dashboard rather. And now we can monitor right here in our notification bar, we can monitor how that transaction is going. So you might remember from the last session that we monitor this, as soon as it's confirmed, we can click that, it'll bring us back into MetaMask so we can confirm the purchase of that NFT. That's not staking yet, well, it automatically stakes the arm boost when you purchase it. Sacred Relics are a bit different and we'll roll through that when we do that. Um, but with the arms boost, it is staked on purchase, applies your NFT boost straight away and we're gonna see that pop up in our dashboard, we can see that's complete. So we're gonna click here to proceed on the notification tab. And we're gonna confirm the transaction. Perfect, so we'll confirm that. 
Excellent, I'm gonna be brought back to the dashboard again. We'll bring our notifications up. We can see that that's pending. We can bring our notifications down. Now, while you're waiting for these ones to confirm, obviously it's Mandy Polygon, it happens really quick. Ultra fast, ultra low cost transactions. We can head on into Discord maybe. You can chat to your team and you can do all these other things. Play the mini game while you're waiting for things to, um, to confirm, obviously on L2. They're gonna be very quick. And we're in, so we can say hi to our team, hey team. But nonetheless, we've got plenty to do while we're waiting for those to transact and confirm. So we're ready to go. Let's click it, see what happens. Boom. There we go. 20% team APY boost has been applied. Excellent. We can see my team APY here has gone from 1,020 to 1,040. What's happened on the right, your ANRX winnings have boosted as well. So there we go. We've applied our first APY boost. Excellent. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to buy a sacred relic. So with the sacred relics, you have to choose one of the two. You have to choose either a sacred relic or a super sacred relic pack. The only difference is, is they differ in price. The sacred relic is cheaper. The super sacred relic is more expensive. Um, and with these ones, they differ in how many NFTs you can potentially get uh, by purchasing them. This is part of our whale protection mechanism. They're automatically randomized to, for the sacred relic, up to five NFTs and for the super sacred relic up to 10 NFTs, right? So they're automatically randomized. So everyone can't just keep buying the expensive one and getting 10 every single time. That wouldn't be fair, right? So with our super sacred relics, um, you choose your pack and then you're given up to five or up to 10. They're gonna pop up in your stake NFTs bar, which we're gonna get to once we buy our NFTs. And then you'll have five or 10 or three uh, to automatically stake as many times as you have them. So you can kind of, you don't have to stake them all at once. They're going to pop up in your stake NFTs tab and you're going to be able to strategize and choose when the right time is to stake all of them. You can stake them all at the same time if you want. You're going to get 35% per super sacred relic and, um, and sorry, through both sacred relics, all sacred relics are 35%. So you're going to get 35% every time you stake your sacred relic. That's not for an hour. That's straight up 35% on the whole week for yourself, okay? So that's gonna boost your APY, it's gonna uh, boost your team's APY. And if everyone stakes sacred relics, your whole team's buying them, you have a better chance of winning, right? So you, the game, uh, the, the, the name of the game with this one is staking as many NFTs as you can at the right times, right? Um, and strategizing with your team, infiltrating other teams to monitor what they're doing, how many sacred relics they've got going on. Uh, and then figuring out what you guys are gonna do and boost your APY as high as you possibly can. So let's go ahead, let's go for the big guns. Let's go stake a super sacred relic. No time for the low boy. Let's confirm this transaction. Again, we're going to approve and then we're going to confirm. So remember guys, every time you buy, uh, every time you stake an NFT, every time that you purchase an NFT, there's gonna be two transactions always, approve and confirm. So we'll go ahead and confirm this approve. Please check notifications down here. So we'll bring notifications up. We can see that our super sacred relic purchase is pending. said guys the oh it's ready to go but we'll say this the super sacred relic 35 percent per nft that you stake um but you're the overall apy boost you get from your super sacred relic purchase will depend on how many you receive during the the fair and equal randomization process that happens during your purchase so let's see what we get boom let's see this baby go off yeah look at that Nice one. All right, we got three. We won three. There we go. Three super sacred relic NFTs that we can go and stake. So we'll stay on this just for a second because I want to point out a couple of things. 
So we see the wheel, the skateboard, we see diamonds, we see chains, all of that is artillery. So when you purchase super sacred relics or sacred relics, you will receive artillery. And that is just a whole bunch of in-game items that you're gonna pop up. We'll, we'll go and look at them in a sec. But the, the thing with this is, is that in the middle of each game, what we will cover in part three of our features and strategy session is that each team has to race to stake all of the artillery that they've received from buying NFTs, right? So that is a huge thing, massive thing. It's going to take a lot of strategy, a lot of in, a lot of good communication between team members to get everyone to stake. Now they've got to stake up to ninety percent. So the first person that hit, the first team that hits ninety percent of their artillery staked, will win the super combined weapon, the combined super weapon rather. Um, so let's go have a look at what we've got. So you can see this button, go to NFTs, or you can close it. So you can close this. But what have we got? We've got new NFTs have popped up, guys. Brand new NFTs right here. So we click this, we can see our sacred relics. So I've got a few, I think I've got a few other NFTs here. I've got a golden chalice right there, bang. Beautiful, the Vanguard's golden chalice. We'll talk about that in a sec. But I've got my super sacred relic, or my sacred relics here. I keep saying super sacred relic. I've got my super sacred relics. I've got my sacred relics here, uh, and I can stake them whenever I want. So we'll stake those in just a moment. We'll stake one or two. But let's come over and see our artillery. So you can see my artillery went up by 50k. You can click your artillery. So we've got what we've got. We've got gold stocks. We've got gold grenades, jetpacks, gold bullets, diamonds, ninja star, energy condensers. That's a new one. Energy barrel. Nice. So we've got all this artillery. Now you can't actually stake this yourself throughout the match. This is just for the combined super weapon. So we're going to come out of that. And when it comes time, you're going to click combine artillery. That time hasn't come yet in the game. That's going to be obviously, as I said, in part three. So. Let's go back to our NFTs. Let's stake an NFT. Let's stake a sacred relic for 35% AV items. So we're gonna approve this again. Excellent, confirm that. Beautiful, we'll bring this up and we'll get to some questions, hey? Sacred Relic is ready to roll. Let's confirm it and get that stake in. Beautiful. So overall, this is a very smooth experience. Um, the notification tab, which is relatively new, um, really makes it, really makes it a lot of a nicer process. It means that you don't have to have MetaMask up while you're waiting for things to, to you know, to confirm and, um, and stake, you can just have the notifications there that you can even close that if you like. So you can actually close it and you can just, you can just bring it up to double check or receive a notification. Um, but I really like it. I really like this process because then we can do all these other things and we still get told when it's staked. Now we're going to find out anyway, because the pending is going to go away and our APY is going to boost. So Zaid asks, do we, we got a sacred relic ready. Do we need spare Matic or Matic network in order for the Matic transactions to go through? Yes, you do need Matic. Um, we will have a uh, part of the wiki, I believe, which has uh, has instructions on how to get Matic. It's very simple to buy Matic. It's just like using Uniswap. Um, the thing about Matic is because the, because the transactions are so low cost, you don't have to buy much Matic at all really for a whole bunch of transactions. It's like, it's something ridiculous. Like, don't quote me on this, but it's something like 60 cents for like for like 100,000 transactions or something crazy on Matic. It's so low that it's essentially negligible. So um, yes, you will need Matic because if you're on, if you're doing transactions on L2, you need to pay in the L2 token. Just like if you're doing a, if you're doing 
transactions on Ethereum that you need Ethereum, right, to pay gas. The only difference is, is Matic is so fast and so low cost that it was a no-brainer for us to in integrate. So yeah, Zai, you'll have to get a little bit of Matic there. Uh, Physical DMR is asking, is there gas fees to stake them? So yep, there's a gas fee, but not an Ethereum gas fee, not an L1 gas fee, a level two gas fee, right? So you're not gonna need, uh, you are not gonna need Ethereum for your L2 transactions. You're only gonna need Matic once you're staking, once you're buying and staking uh, in-game NFT items. All right, so we got this super sacred relic. Let's do it. Boom, staked. So we can see we've added 35% there. We've gone from 1,040 to 1,075. Our ANUX rings have gone up to 1,505 ANRX. There you go, bang. So we can see that all, we can see that all the uh, NFTs have been used. So they go dark. So you are going to be unable to, you can only pick one sacred relic or a super sacred relic. You can't buy both. So you can only do it once and the arms boost you can also only do once. Um, so we can go back to stake NFTs if we'd like. We can stake another one. Do it. All right, so I can't help myself. So I'm gonna play the mini game. I'm gonna play the mini game while I'm waiting for this uh, for this transaction to go through. No need to sit there waiting for it to go. I'm gonna bring up the mini game. Do it. All right, so this is our side scroll action shooter mini game, guys. Now we're gonna talk a lot more in depth. Sorry, it's a bit framey. We've got a bit of a lag uh, on the Wi-Fi here. So it's not gonna look as smooth and as beautiful as it will on your screens. So what we're doing here, guys, is we're collecting Oracle Shards. We can see that our guns upgrade as we collect new gun upgrades and things like that. But all the little red things that are coming off here are Oracle Shards. That's the second in-game currency that we have, right? So you're gonna, you are gonna can only get that by playing the minigame. The minigame is free to play. Look at me, I'm going on about the minigame now. This is meant to be part three, guys, but I can't help myself. So you can play this for free. You can play this as long as you want, as many times as you want while you're playing Battleway 2323. You can collect as many Oracle Shards as you want. And then essentially what you're doing with these Oracle Shards is you are, oh, I'm almost dead, is you are collecting these to farm NRPX collectible NFTs. So this is a way of farming free NFTs by playing the mini game. Uh, it's not the easiest game in the world and it requires a fair bit of gameplay to um, to get these NFTs going. The transaction's probably done by now actually, but this is a great way to kill some time if you're waiting for a transaction or if you're waiting for, you know, waiting for certain people to come online so you can strategize and talk about the game, talk about how you played yesterday. Look at this man, my guns are going nuts. All right, I should, oh, here's a boss. We'll kill the boss and then we'll move on, hey? That's a little mini boss, not a good one, is it? There we go, got him. Where is he? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Scarlet's gonna have to put a warning on this stream now. <laughs> yes, got him. Boom. There we go. All right, so I am, now you actually have to die, guys. You gotta make sure that you actually play through all your lives so that you bring up uh, the appropriate tab to get your Oracle Shards. I'm just gonna pause this here. Another option, obviously if the music's too loud or if the, uh, if the sound effects you don't like them for whatever reason, you can turn them off or on, you can toggle them. We're gonna go back to the dashboard here though because our Sacred Relic Pending notification would have gone through. There we go, let's move on to stake. Perfect, we'll confirm that. And we're gonna boost our APY again. We're gonna keep boosting it. Now with the Super Sacred Relic, that's a minimum of three. Minimum of three of the Super Sacred Relic and up to 10, right? 
So imagine getting 10. Getting 10 super sacred relics at 35% gives you another 350% APY to add onto yourself, which will always, also boost your team's APY. Now we went through this yesterday. We're going to keep mentioning though, that um, you can score up to 350% APY for the week. Now that doesn't mean your super sacred relic that you got 350% on equals 350%. That means you add that onto your, your team APY score and your own APY score um, because you everyone receives a, an equal amount of APY at the end of the, at the end of the game if you're the winners, right? So you have to boost your APY super high. We can see that we got 110%, boosted another 50 ANRX, that's pretty awesome. What I was showing the uh, what I was showing in part one is that when you come to your team, I'll just remind you guys you can see what everyone's done, right? So on part one, I didn't have any super sacred, I didn't have any sacred relics because we hadn't bought any. But you can see right now that I have bought three sacred relics and I've used two. Now this is going to be for your entire team. So you'll be able to see your entire team as they buy Sacred Relics and Arms Boost. You can see that I've, I've used an Arms Boost. Everyone on my team is going to see this. Everyone on your team is going to see all your actions and you're going to see everyone's actions on, on, on this screen. So you can really tell who's pulling their weight, who's done Arms Boost. You can see that I've boosted 90% already just by myself. You're going to see that for your entire team. So it's, uh, again, it's a good, uh, it's a good thing to, to keep your team accountable. Um, that's really interesting. And then when you come over to, you know, all teams, we're going to see our, what we were discussing, you know, yesterday with the potential goals to Charles value, but you're going to see your potential ANRX winnings as well for yourself. Okay. And that's also going to be here. All right. Perfect. So, I mean, this wraps up, uh, this wraps up the second part of our features and of our strategy and feature sessions. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, shows us a lot about the in-game items and how all the functioning works, switching to L2, the, how cheap and quick and easy it is to stake these NFTs. Um, so yeah, we'll probably wrap this one up guys, unless there's any more questions. I know you guys just want to play. I know you guys just want to play. Don't worry, we're getting this thing out soon. We're getting this thing out soon. The market's looking good. Everything is good with our game. We're good to go. All good, guys. Well, if there's no more questions, we're going to wrap this one up. So, yeah, we'll catch you next time, guys. Thank you for joining me. Uh, the next strategy session will be next Tuesday. So we'll keep you guys live for that. Don't forget, we have our Fortnite tournament. That's already closed, unfortunately. So if you haven't done the registration form in Discord, I'm sorry, but the, the registrations are closed for the Fortnite tournament now. The first game will be on Saturday, and we're going to be releasing uh, all the details of the game uh, we're going to be releasing all the details of the game uh, tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that if you are in the competition. Um, we'll be discussing which server we're going to be running it on um, and information about how the structure is going to work. Uh, we have already said it's going to be a four-stage tournament. People are going to get knocked out every stage. And the grand prize is $500 for the winner plus an Anarchy X Super APY boosted collectible NFT. Second uh, second place is 300 bucks. Third place is 200 bucks. So... Good luck to everyone that's in there and we're going to catch you guys next time.